Good morning. I want to thank you once again for joining me for our Friday morning devotion. Today I want to recap and dive a little deeper into our sermon from this past Sunday. I hope you find this time of devotion both encouraging and thought-provoking as we head into the weekend. Jeff's message was a powerful reminder of what church is truly about. We started with a metaphor comparing the church to a cruise ship, where everything is about comfort and being served. It's a relatable image, as many of us have been on cruises or similar vacations where the focus is on luxury and our own enjoyment. However, Jeff challenged this idea by contrasting it with the true purpose of the church. When we walk into a church, it shouldn't feel like we're stepping onto a cruise ship where everything is designed to cater to our desires. Instead, it should feel more like stepping onto a mission ship where every person is engaged in a greater purpose. Let's revisit the passage from Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 through 19. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others, Jeremiah or one of the prophets. But what about you? he asked. Who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Jesus replied, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood, but by my Father in heaven. And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. Here Jesus introduces the concept of the church, not as a physical building or a place of entertainment, but as a community of people who belong to him. The word church in Greek means called out assembly. This assembly is based on the confession of faith that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of the living God. The church is not a place we go to, it's who we are. It's a spiritual family growing in surrendered obedience to Jesus Christ, gathering together under biblical leadership to fulfill the Great Commission and in turn making disciples with a heart to love God and love others. Ephesians 1, 22-23 tells us, and God placed all things under his feet and appointed him to be head over everything for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills everything in every way. As members of the church, we are the body of Christ, representing his fullness to the world. This is a profound responsibility and an incredible mission. Jesus' words to his disciples in Matthew 16 are a call to sacrifice. Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will find it. What good will it be for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? Being part of the church means making sacrifices. It means prioritizing God's concerns over our own and being willing to give up our comfort for the sake of His mission. As we head into this weekend, Let's remember that we are not just attendees of a Sunday service, but active participants in God's mission. The church is not a building. It's the people, the assembly of believers committed to living out their faith every day. Thank you for joining me this morning. Don't forget we have VBS coming up on June 17th. For more information on this and other events at NCC, check out our website, norwinchristianchurch.com. See you Sunday.